So, yesterday, I discovered new grammar thing, and that's this sa, which supposedly means like suffix ness. So, this is sekushi sa, which is sexy ness. Um, then I f figured out that this is mitoreru. Wait, let me switch keyboard and write it down. Mitoreru is admiring or fast being fascinated by mitoreru. Yes. Um. Imashita is past tense of imas, so iru, and so basically this word admiring or be fascinated, captivated, it's maybe a better word, isn't past, progressive, so what's happening? Were you captivated by my happiness? Happiness, sexiness. <laughs> but what I I had to go to sleep yesterday and I didn't figure out what this cha means. So why is there not te? So mito re te imashita. Because if I te form, it exists. Mito re te. Mitorete, 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 mitorete. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so I need to Google Japa. Oh. Japanese. Uh, chi, yeah, what? Oh, <laughs> nah, chi, yeah, because if you want to, uh, if you have Japanese keyboard on, on cell phone or, well, anywhere on Windows, and you want to type small, ya or you, or yo. So you need to type X and then Y, A, and that creates small. Small, yeah. Okay, here we go. Verb followed by cha. Oh, it's the same. Micha. Micha. <laughs> Can I read it? I don't think so. Oh. No. <laughs> Micha dame. That's as far as it goes. Mother, mother is looking at year end adverts. Not allowed. What? Mother is looking at year end adverts. Not. Oh, okay. This comma. Is important. So, oh, of course, of course, of course, I knew that it's familiar. <sighs> Uh, 
It's the negative. So cha is a contraction of te wa. Wait, what? Okay, sorry for my of coursing. Micha dame. It's the same. Mite wa dame. And what is tewa? Tewa ikenai. Okay, and what is tewa? I'm confused. I am confused. Whenever, if, when repetitive action dewa dewa whenever i can go shopping if it keeps raining like this What? Okay. I'm not focused. Okay, let's go to Magi Sensei. So describe in some repetitive situations, actions, when you do two or more actions, they could be unrelated or opposite actions repeatedly or describe some situations which happen repeatedly. Verb de plus what? Mm hmm. For example, when you turn on the TV and turn it off, you say Terebi o Tsukuru. Yes. Terebi o Kesu. All right. Terebi o Terebi o Tsukete Kesu. Turn the TV on and off. But if you keep turning the TV on and off repeatedly, you would say 
てでビーをつけてはケースをつけてはあなお消しはい消し whatever でデビューをつけては消し。or でデビューをつけては消す。Okay, it's better. I don't understand why there's the she, but I'm not going into that now. You change the first verb into te form and add wa. Makes sense. The second verb can be use, use, use the dictionary form. Oh, use the dictionary form. Kesu. Okay. But what if I, I don't have to have like two words, right? Two verbs. So casual contraction, tewa turns to cha, and dewa turns to ja. When did did we get explained when to use dewa? That's just for different types of verbs. Ku is a male speech of taberu. Interesting. Though it's considered to be rough, you often hear it colloquial version. Okay, okay, okay. The form what oh <laughs> second meaning whenever something happens someone does something repeated situational situation habitual situation okay Mm -hmm. If, because, plus unfavorable result, to give one's negative comments or express one's negative opinion towards the topics.
so verb plus def form plus what but i adjectives it's the one but not adjectives Dewa. <clears throat> Nouns plus Dewa. It is similar to Tada, but while Tada can be used in a positive, neutral, or negative meaning, Dewa is used in a negative meaning. Okay, give me some example sentence. Okay, let's take this one. Ah. Sonna ni tabete wa o onaka wo kowasu yo. Sonna ni tabete wa if you eat that much, you will have a stomach ache. If you eat that much. Okay. Sonnani. Sonnani. Tabete wa. Mm. Tada. Sonna ni tabetada. I remember the tada being like to regret something. Or no, that was chatta. Chatta. Tada. Yeah, whatever. This game is impossible for children to play. Kodomo dewa kono game wa aso bi desu mori desu okay wa mori desu so Kodomo de wa kono game wa muri desu. This game is impossible for children. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So basically, okay, can we can I is there a I don't know, some different meaning of this? You do Hmm. But does this push on inflections? Past. Iranakata. Past polite. Ima sendeshta. No, wait, that's negative. Irimashita. Okay. So no. The 
is my Iru. Imashita. Um, yeah, so that's it's probably just Boston's. So what this is, so this cha, as I learned, is colloquial inflection or whatever it's called, transformation of te wa. And so verb in te form and or the form if it's needed and wa and te wa de wa is used when something is done repeatedly or something happened habitually or the third part when something I don't know is negative some negative comment or something I don't have to get more into that one. So the tewa dewa turns to cha. So what this says, let's read it again. Na, but na, nan desu ka? Sekushi sa ni mitorecha imashita. So so, na, that's just some ha, huh, na, <laughs> yo, <laughs> something like that. Uh, what's up, or nan desu ka? What is it? Uh, were you being... Captivated repeatedly by my by my sexiness. That's what the sentence says, probably. What now? Are you captivated by my sexiness? Yeah. Okay. Un. 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 Han, Han. <laughs> I still don't know how to pronounce this <laughs> because, like, it's just like, uh, mm, um, um, and I don't know if I should open my mouth um, during the first syllable or if the whole thing should be this. Um, How do you call the sounds? The sounds that are that are done like inside of your throat. Not visceral sounds. Yeah, whatever. So um um so he agrees. So our captivate were you being captivated by my sexiness? Yes. Hey, Nanda yo. What it's like, what's wrong, or 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 why you? <laughs> okay, let's translate. Ba. No, how did they translate it? What? But but it's like what? It's like not what? Because of the yo. If there was like question mark, then that it would be what, with question mark, but. When there's yo, it should be like question mark, exclamation mark. 
Like what? Right? Okay. Nanda. What? What the heck? What the damn? What? Oh. Namida. Tear. Tears. Namida. Is this the word that was used when Colonel Mustang was crying over? I forgot his name his friend's grave namida janai ameda something like that it's not tears it's rain uh, okay nanda uh. Let's go to high native. It's difficult to explain. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's really multi purpose. <clears throat> what I understood is that Nandeo means what is it? What the hell? But sometimes Japanese people use it at the end of sentence. So why? I mean, is there a clear grammar of it? And please can you explain to me why is it we use Nando in, in the sentence. Yeah, okay, so basically So Nando is used to prove confirm the thing or like a strong emotion, correct? Yes, you're correct. Okay, yeah. So basically I'm trans I translated it correctly. Like what? What? Wait. <laughs> right. Ah, uh, I need to get my fiber because at 2.30, 2.25, I want to be in bed. <laughs> so I need to digest it also. Oh my God, but my stomach is full. How am I supposed to sleep at 2.30? Maybe I'll start my sleeping session in this chair so I can Digest well. <sighs> Ow. Oh. <sighs> I'll be right back. B. Oh, I have it also here. So I'll be back.
come back. And what if I... Alright, um, so let's try to do this one real quick. Yaru John, Yaru John, Fuka Chan, Yaru John, Fuka Chan, Yaru John, Fuka Chan, Yaru John, Fuka Chan, <laughs> Yaru John. Yaru Janai Yaru Isn't Yaru like uh, like to Kimi ni Yagate Naru Okay, that's something else. <laughs> Isn't Yaru to like to be also to be, but it's like different to be or to get some from some like to become to become. So this is short for Janai. So is not or I guess Yaru Janai, it's the negative of Yaru. So what does Yaru mean? Enter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this. Uh, so 16 entries. Great. To do. To undertake, to perform, to play. To send, to dispatch, to put, to move, to turn, to give, to let have, to present, to present, to bestow. Oh, but it's like to give, like to present you with a gift. To make, to run a business, to keep, to be, to practice, no, to have food, drink. To hold, to perform, to show. Okay, this could be it. Wait, what? To ease one's mind, to harm, to injure, to kill. To ease one's mind. Don't ease up. Fukachan. Don't show it. Fukachan. Don't hold it. Don't perform it. Don't play it. Fukachan. Like, don't play that you don't know. Or don't play stupid. Like, because she's like, she's like, she's like, yes, you're attractive. And she's like, huh? She's all surprised. And he's like, what? Don't play it. Fuka. Maybe. To have sex. Don't bank. Fuka. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. To live. To get by. To do. To do for. 
for yeah to play a game to perform so don't play it Fukachan or like don't don't play a game with game with me you're looking good Fukachan but Ak <laughs> Okay so Gufutsu <laughs> is Ugh <laughs> Gufu Tsu Or is it Gufu? Is it small tsu? Yeah it's small tsu probably so Gufu Guf Okay how do <sighs> Okay, this doesn't make sense to me. Let's try to to Google it. Wait, what? This is big, yeah, right? Where's my keyboard? Yes. Okay. That's better. But do it. Yaru John. What does Yarujan mean? Dekiru de de wa nai can nai. Dewa, that's what we talked about today. So I cannot do it. And this means like repeatedly. So you're doing, I don't know, you do, you play hockey and, but you've been doing it for five years and you're that, you're like, I cannot do it anymore repeatedly. Okay, but what does it have to do with this? You did it well. Then I realized. What? <clears throat> okay, let's go here. Yaru-chan or... Or... <laughs> Yaru... Yaru... Janai ka Means well done. Great job. And is used mostly when expectations are exceeded. Or... someone someone's original thought of something being unreachable or not to be able is achieved in some cases i believe it's meant as a way of encouragement interesting but the, like i'm still interesting why it is Yaru John, Yaru Janaika. The ka is there just to emphasize, right? Like, is it, does it have to, is it some, like transformation of, 
where are we is it some transformation of like this like you didn't you don't play it you are for real that means great job Maybe just no. Maybe just a straight no. <laughs> okay, but this this is good. I will. Wait, is it visible? Should be. Uh, not bad. Good job. Yeah, but like, why? Tell me why. Oh. Is it just at the... Etymology, yeah. Okay. Ma. Each and I. So, uh, yes, it's fine. Well, okay, Ma as well. It's probably fine, don't you think? Each and I. Summary. Ru tough derived, tough, roughly derived, tough derived from. Okay, uh, but this website seems pretty good. Okay. Bookmark. Okay, so basically what I learned is that this means you're doing good, good job. You exceeded expectations, motivations, uh, whatnot. This guy explained it. What? No. This guy explained it. Yarujanai or Yarujanaika means well done, great job. Yeah. You're looking good. So good job, Fukachan. 
and she's like, G -g <laughs> Okay, let's just quickly read in English what they are saying. So I'm not left on a cliffhanger, although there's not much of a cliffhanger. Don't you think so? Very nice. Yep, very nice, very nice indeed. <laughs> Stop saying that, perverts. <laughs> I like the ones who leave a little meat on their waist. <laughs> uh, this is classic, <laughs> classic, um, old school humor. All right, I'm done. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> because... I need to wake up at seven. Mm. Right, thanks for watching. Bye bye.